Hi guys, um, and welcome back to the channel. So since the Arrow Method syllogism videos have gotten a lot of views, and I think it's something that a lot of people have been trying to work at, a lot of people have been saying how useful it is, I thought I would do another follow-up video. So this will be the fourth in the series now. So the first two, pretty much the first one mainly, kind of explains all the main ideas, and then the others I just take you through uh, a further variety of questions. So let's have a look at these ones, okay? So only licensed professionals can speak on the career development panel, okay? Only. If a person speaks on the career development panel, they are highly regarded in their field. Some licensed professionals have secondary certifications. If someone speaks on the career development panel, they are a licensed professional. Yes, because you know it's only. Some licensed professionals do not have secondary certifications. This one is a no, because some is 2 to 99. So it could be that 9 to 10 people have a secondary certification. Therefore, there could only be one licensed professional who doesn't have a secondary certification. Some people who speak on the career development panel have secondary certifications. Not necessarily. Remember, we're trying to create a hypothetical. It could be that everyone who speaks on the career development pan, uh, panel doesn't have a secondary certification. If a person is not highly regarded in their field, that person does not speak on the career development panel. Um, yes, because everyone who does is highly regarded. Anyone who is not a licensed professional cannot speak. That's also true. So yes, no, no, yes, yes. Okay, so most flowers are red. Most are red. No red flowers are roses. Some roses have thorns. Okay, so no red flowers have thorns. We don't know anything about that. All red flowers do not have thorns. Um, no, we don't know that either. Most flowers are not roses. Um, yes, you can conclude that because most of them are red and none of those are roses. So most of them must not be roses, therefore. Um, some roses with thorns can be red. No, because remember this is mutually exclusive. Flowers with thorns must be roses, not necessarily rombo, they could be something else. So no, no, yes, no, no. Okay, and what about this one? So all athletes need physical conditioning. Need physical, okay, so physical conditioning. Most need weight training, but not all who need weight training play team sports. Some athletes who play team sports are coaches, so we can draw arrows like this. Now, all athletes who play team sports need physical conditioning. No, all of them do, because all athletes do. Um, few athletes who do not need weight training play team sports. Well, we know that not all of them play team sports, but we don't know anything about few, many, etc., etc. Some coaches need physical conditioning. No, it's going to be, uh, it could be all coaches, because it could be that um, it's only athletes that are coaches, and therefore it could be that all coaches need physical conditioning if all coaches are athletes. Um, if an athlete needs weight training, they need physical conditioning. Yes, because this bit is true. If an athlete does not need, does not play team sports, they do not need physical conditioning. No. So I would say no, no, no. Yes, no. So let's have a look at these. Okay, so just in that very last one then. So it says some coaches need physical conditioning. Well, this is an interesting one. Because I would argue, um, because it says some athletes who play team sports are coaches, I would argue it's possible for all coaches to just be athletes. And in that case, it would be because we don't have anything contrary to that evidence here. And for that reason, um, it would be wrong to say some coaches need physical conditioning because it could be that all of them do. Okay, so I do want to say sometimes the medify answers aren't exactly 100% accurate. Um, you know, there are sometimes disagreements in here. Maybe you guys can let me know in the comments. Do you understand my way of thinking here? Okay, because the whole idea is here, we're trying to create a hypothetical. Um, and as far as the information we're given, it could be true that only some of, uh, it could be true that it, it happens that all, all coaches are athletes and therefore all coaches would need physical conditioning. Okay. Um, so yeah, let me know what you guys think. Okay, cool. So let's move on to another set of three then. Okay, so... Okay, so on to the next set then. So there are two clowns at the children's birthday party. All the balloon animals, clunk the clown makes, so clunk the clown. All the balloon animals are inflated with helium. But only some are shaped like monkeys. Harriet the Harlequin 
None of them are shaped like monkeys, but some are inflated with helium. If Kaloon's blue line was made by Clunk the Clown, it's inflated with helium. Yes. Belize was inflated with helium. It's not made by Harriet the Harlequin. Um, no, not necessarily, because some of uh, Harriet's were inflated with helium. Anastasia's was made by Harlot the Harlequin. Um, it is not shaped like a monkey. That must be true. Um, Chuck's balloon animal is shaped like a monkey. Chuck's balloon animal is shaped like a monkey. It was made by Clunk the Clown. Yes. No child at the party received a balloon animal that was either not shaped like a monkey. Um, no one received one that's not shaped like a monkey or filled with helium. Well, no, that's going to be wrong because you're going to have a child who can receive a balloon animal that wasn't shaped like a monkey. Um, okay, yeah. So, yes, no, yes, yes, no. So the plants in the window box, in the window box, are either annual or perennial. None of the perennial have an odd number of petals. Some of the plants, of, some of the plants have flowers of a single colour. Plants. Some have single colour flowers. The rest have green leaves. A plant with only pink flowers does not have green leaves. Yes. A plant with eight petals must be perennial. Um, none of the perennial ones have an odd number. Uh, not necessarily. We know none of the perennial ones have an odd number. That doesn't necessarily mean they have to have an even. A plant with red leaves must have flowers of a single colour. Yes. At least uh, one plant in the window box is perennial with an even number of petals and green leaves. No, it could be that all the even number of petal ones are the ones that have uh, single flowers. It could be an annual plant with pink flowers and six petals per flower. Uh, it could be. Yeah, that could be true. Yes, no, yes, no, yes. Last one. Some ancient cultures used advanced engineering techniques. Though a few cultures have left behind our few have left behind archaeological evidence. They use this, their societies were socially stratified. Most societies that socially stratified left behind archaeological evidence. Some ancient cultures did not leave behind archaeological evidence. Yeah. Um, most that use advancing technologies have left behind archaeological evidence. Yes, you can follow that through because all those that use advanced engineering techniques were socially stratified and most of those left behind ancient or left behind archaeological evidence. Few that were not socially stratified have left behind archaeological evidence. Um, we'll come back to that one. Most ancient cultures that left behind archaeological evidence were socially stratified. Uh, most of the FBI and archaeological evidence were socially stratified. I guess, can you conclude this one? I would say, let's come back to this. If it was not socially stratified, it did not use advanced engineering techniques. Not necessarily. Oh no, but no, actually this is true because all those that did use advanced engineering techniques were socially stratified. Um, so yeah, that must be true. So most the left behind archaeological evidence were socially stratified. Um, I would say this is true. And few that were not socially stratified. I'm going to say this is not true. Mm. Most the left behind archaeological evidence... Actually, I don't think you can conclude this one because the arrow is going the wrong way. So let's go, yes, 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 no, no, yes. Okay, let's see how we did. Okay, so there was one here. A plant with only pink flowers does not have green leaves. Okay. Uh, may still be plants with green leaves. Single color, single color flowers may still be plants with green leaves. Is that true? It says some of the plants have flowers of a single colour and the rest all have green leaves, which indicates that these ones don't have green leaves. So I'm not sure on that one. I would think I would probably disagree with that one again. 
um, because of the wording. So I'm not sure what you guys think. Maybe you can let me know down in the comments why this one might be the other way around. Perhaps I'm not seeing it. Okay, so it's cool. Let's go on to the next set. Okay, so among the businesses in the association, in the association, few adhere to artificial intelligence guidelines. All the publicly traded businesses, so I don't know which ones they are, but they all adhere. So some are not that are not publicly traded. Do not adhere. No, it could be that all that are not publicly traded don't adhere. Most businesses, the association, are publicly traded. No, few businesses do not adhere to. Um, artificial intelligence guidelines, yes. And a few do not have there, sorry. So a few, that's wrong, so because few are there. If a business does not adhere, it's not publicly traded business. Yes, some businesses in the association are not publicly traded. This must be true, because all the publicly traded ones are here, but it tells overall that there's only a few that are there, so there must be some other ones as well. So no, 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 yes, yes. So... No financial investments are made by the organization. Your investments without rigorous, rigorous market analysis. So that means it's got it the way around. So financial investments require rigorous market analysis. Any research that relies on a single source. Research relying on single source of financial information is not rigorous market analysis. So some financial investments made by organizations are based on research. Now, we don't know that. It could be that... Um, no, yeah, that's true, because none of them are like that. We know this. Most research is not rigorous market analysis. We don't know that in general. No research is rigorous market analysis unless it, unless it re relies on multiple sources. So this is true because we know that not relying on a single source is not, so therefore you must have to rely on more. No, not all financial investments made by the organisation are based on research. I'd say no once again. Any financial investments made by the organisation use research that relies on multiple sources. I'd say that's true again. Okay, so... Let's have a look at this one. So all oh, this one should be nice. So all butterflies have wings. No insect has ten legs. Some insects are butterflies. Some insects have wings. Uh, well, actually, this one I think is no. It could be that all insects have wings because some of them are butterflies and all butterflies have wings. But some of them could be for then other things as well. And every single one of those could have wings. Some insects with wings are not butterflies. No, because. We don't know that. It could be that all the insects with wings... Are, we could say that only butterflies are the only insects with wings, for example. Insects without wings are not butterflies. Yes, some insects with wings have ten legs. Not that we know of. Once again, no insects have ten legs. All insects have wings. Not necessarily. Can't conclude that. So, no, no, yes, no, no. Okay. So, just on that last question. Some insects have wings. Mm. Okay, once again, um, I would say that that first one is a little bit dubious because some insects have wings. I can see where they're coming from because some insects are butterflies and all butterflies have wings. But it could be true that, yes, we know some insects are butterflies, but there are examples of other, it could be that all the other remaining insects also have wings as well. Does that make sense? So I guess sometimes you I guess you kind of do have to learn to play the game a little bit. Although in this case it is a bit you know, it's a bit annoying when it doesn't exactly go um the way you want it to, because obviously they're meant to follow like a certain pattern. And that's one of the reasons why I would really recommend you guys to check out the official UCAT website questions. Because those questions are going to be the ones um that are um the most reliable essentially.
So overall, it's really, really important if you can to try and attempt those sort of questions. And I think the ones on the official UK website do follow the rules a little bit more. And obviously, Medify is a wonderful resource, but it is just the fact that sometimes, you know, it's just not possible for them um, to be able to, you know, like an occasional question might like kind of slip through the ski screen as such. Um, so, yeah. OK, cool. So I hope that makes sense. So once again, um, I hope this video was helpful. Just another kind of like follow up video, because I know that a lot of people do struggle with syllogisms. And I really do think the arrow method is really, really good. Um, and you can see here, even though, OK, yeah, we got five out of six, but it's not the end of the world. Right. Remember, the UK isn't about getting um, 100 percent. It's just about getting to as many of the easy questions as possible and trying to solve it. Um, and just making your job easier. And overall, you can see that over the last kind of like nine questions that I've done, the timing has been fairly decent as well. Obviously, I've been talking to you guys through it a little bit as well. So obviously, if I was doing it, it would be a little bit faster. Um, but yeah, you can really see how this method can kind of come into fruition. Okay, so um, thank you very much for watching and keep an eye out for verbal reasoning, which is coming very, very soon. Thank you.